I realized just now when I'm editing how like nasty and greasy my hair looks in this entire video, so please just pretend not to notice. What's up everybody? I'm so excited to listen to this album. It's been hard for me not to because I know I'm gonna love it and I've just been listening to Sufjan Stevens on repeat and I need some new shit to make me feel emo. So this is gonna be it, I am sure of it. And In the Darkness Hearts Aglow by Wise Blood. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, I was looking for some props, like glowing heart type of props, but you know, if I'm anything, I'm lazy. So, okay, let's talk about this cover because it's absolutely amazing and it's not Photoshop. Like, I follow her on Twitter and she posted behind the scenes footage of her like running around with her chest glowing and I have no idea how they did it, but um, it's fucking cool and I love the album cover. It's perfect and dreamy and romantic and I'm a huge fan. Let's give this album a whirl. Let's just, you know, let's just get into it. I always say shit like that and then I'm like, I rant about something for 10 minutes. And then when I go to edit it, I'm like, dude, I wish you could just be a little more organized. <sighs> but yeah, I love music that makes me feel like sad it like it validates me it inspires me I heard this first song heard it it's not just me it's everybody and grapevine because they were the singles but obviously we're gonna listen to every track all the way through oh I just thought of like a dumb really stupid idea Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be kind of fun to pull a tarot card for like an album when we listen to it, just to like, I don't know, let's figure out the vibes, let's see what the universe has in store for us <clears throat> with the vibes. We're just gonna do one tarot pull, one card, and I never use these Dolly tarot cards and I feel like videos would be a fun time for it. All right, everyone. Take a deep breath. Set some intentions for this album and how it's gonna make us feel. See what comes. The lovers. Are you kidding? I'm so here for that. Bro. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Look at this beautiful card. Yeah. That's us today. We're in love with this album. Okay, track one. It's not just me, it's everybody. The tone of her voice makes me cry. Um, I just had to pause it to say that I already ordered this vinyl and I just bought tickets to see her play in February. 
I can't wait. Not the first time she's talked about being fragile in the morning. Um, in the morning when her soul is aching because it's tired of dreaming. Um, I think that's in seven words. I just want to look up what her name is so I can call her by it. Natalie. Natalie. She is not a morning person, just like me. Um, like, you don't want to be around me for the first, like, hour and a half when I wake up, or I might, like, ruin your day. talk about how with this album cover she was like I need everyone to see how beautiful I am I feel like this is her first up close album cover and she's smoking she so sounds like the carpenters like her voice. She should do a Carpenters cover album. Just got goosebumps at that breakdown. Um, she's just out here singing about the plight of the human condition and not making it about herself. Okay, I like that song a lot. Um, good start. She, like, she's just singing about a pain that we can all relate to, I feel like is what she's telling us with that opening track. Um, yeah, let's, let's get into it, Natalie. Let's, let's please dive deep. All right. Children of the Empire, track two. Like you could play this song for me and tell me that that's Karen Carpenter singing in her era. And I would 300% believe you. Like I might fool my mom and play her this later. Like, it just sounds like the Carpenters, in such a good way. I love the layers. It was like, let's start with the piano, let's add the strings, boom, let's add the bass and the drums. Like, yes, yes. This song's like low key a good time. Like I wanna, I wanna party to this song. Another song that's like about the people, about the masses, and not just about her. Which is cool. Like first two songs are about the children of the empire, about all of us. Like I would go to Bible study if wise blood was the preacher that tone right there is giving james bond theme song and i'm manifesting a wise blood james bond soundtrack in the near future maybe with a dash of lana del rey in the mix Saying. Nice little key change happening there. That was nice and surprising. That 
was good. That one was like a fucking journey. Like I'm gonna have to listen to that one more. I mean, obviously the whole album. Cause we're long gone in that eternal flame, trying to break away from the mess we made. We don't have time anymore to be afraid. Children of the Empire know that they're not free, even though they want to be free. We know we're not free, even though we want to be free. The plights of humanity and society. I feel that. All right, grapevine. Let's just listen through. I already have a reaction to this song on my channel, but I want to hear it again in the album, so. It does seem like this is her first track on the album where she's like singing about herself, her story, rather than like all of our story. Definitely the album so far has this like feeling like it's building to something or I don't know how else to explain it like it's giving it's very cinematic like suspense thriller movie um, like Mulholland Drive vibes like where you just feel like something odd and eerie is at work, but you can't quite pin it down. That's what this album is telling me so far. In a good way. Great song, good, great song. Good, interesting album so far taking us on a creepy, beautiful fantasy journey. Um, okay. Track four, God, turn me into a flower. Like, this is such the vibe of this album, is it not? Like. As long as I stand, this, it always takes me. That line, it's good to be soft when they push you down. Oh God, turn me into a flower. Like, even just saying it makes my skin like and hairs stand up straight. Like, okay, I love how front and center her voice is, first of all, with like, not very many effects because she has such a beautiful voice and just that line too is such a curse to be so hard you shatter easily and can't pick up all those shards like oh my god see the reflection see the reflection and you want it more than the truth you yearn to be that dream you could never get to because the person on the other side has always just been you oh god turn me into a flower i don't even know how to like process these lyrics they're so poignant and we're halfway through the song and no more lyrics, just vibes, just music. You yearn to be that dream you could never get to. Like, nothing's ever good enough. And it's true. make art music 
something, anything that is this beautiful, like, it's just so touching. Like, I feel like what we're hearing now is what the universe sounds like to a flower. Just trippy and weird and beautiful. Great song. Amazing. I feel like I said everything that needed to be said about that one. Okay, Hearts Aglow, just like on the album cover, and the name of the album, okay. this song kind of is like it's not coded in layers of poetry she's just like I'd give anything to hang I've been without friends I've just been working for years and I stopped having fun it's the same staring at that black water down below knowing I could fall if I let go it's like me all the time peeking out into the void of my brain and choosing not to like fall into it I just have to point out those lyrics. It might be the moon or the cotton candy, or it might be a man who actually understands me. Cause it's been a death march. The whole world is crumbling. Oh baby, let's dance in the sand. Cause I've been waiting for my life to begin, for someone to light up my heart again. And in the darkness I can guide you in. We're rising over the tide, up on the Ferris wheel at night. Oh, hearts aglow. Ooh, I hope she makes a music video for this song and she's like at the fair. I just think the aesthetic would be cool. You can't control hearts aglow. I'm staring at that black water down below knowing I could fall if I let go. It's true, you fucking can't control it. You don't know if you're gonna find that validation in a man or if it'll just have to be cotton candy or the moon like that one was nice i don't know to me it was just about like the uncertainty of life and literally everything in it and this next track is called and in the darkness and it's only 15 seconds, so let's get, let's get into it. Interesting. I wonder why she chose to make that its own track. It's probably like the flip side of the record or something. Okay. Track seven, Twin Flame. Tarot just knows. And so I followed a light into the night and you kept me waiting in the dark with no place to hide. Sounds like she was love bombed. 
in like absolutely beautiful poetic way and i love that shit i hate that fucking word love bond but it sounds like someone drew her in and then blocked her off i love the sound of the production on this track it's like very early 80s like early electronic production sounds and i'm loving it a good song i feel like 18 year old me would have like eaten that shit up for breakfast lunch and dinner just because of the whole twin flame thing but now i'm like but it was a nice song it was like pretty a little breather from the emotional intensity of like the rest of the album all right, track eight, In Holy Flux. Less than two minutes long. No words. She must have heard Preacher's Daughter by Ethel Kane and gotten inspired to throw some instrumental vibes in the mix. Okay, track nine, The Worst is Done. It's so always so un unexpected to hear like that kind of beat in a Wise Blood album, especially such a depressing one about uncertainty and longing. It reminds me of, um, I'll shut up in a second. It reminds me of the song Little Fang by A.B. Chair. Like, don't you see the similarities in the vibes? talking about covid like it's been a terrible year everyone lost what they had they say the worst is done it's time to pick up where we left off and find out what we've all become it really was a transformative year like and i lost it was like my career was like and then it just disappeared by my career, I mean my painting career. Um, like I was on track to do, illustrate like concert posters for some of my favorite bands and then all the concerts stopped because of COVID. And now my career is doing well again, but it's just in a completely different place. <clears throat> good song happy beat but her message is that like well I guess I'm assuming she's talking about COVID and how it completely reshifted the trajectory of existence and she's like oh but the worst is yet to come is what I think like okay <laughs> I hope you're wrong okay last song a Given Thing, track 10. 
high hopes for this song. I like how she's like, how can I say this? Sometimes we confuse the dream for one another. We're screaming to be closer to infinity. It's like she gets that the desire for love and passion is actually just us wanting to be more connected to the universe, like to experience oneness and connection is to yearn for infinity. And it's true, sometimes we confuse the dream for another, like sometimes we project that shit onto the wrong things and when you're doing that, you know, like you know. Thank you, Natalie, for ending <clears throat> on a positive, hopeful note about how we shouldn't have to chase or yearn for love. That it's there for the taking, okay? Like, it's ours. And she just wants to cure the broken lovers from their cycle. And I'm right there with her. I like that album. I liked it. Um, probably my favorite tracks are God Turn Me Into a Flower and Grapevine. But I'm gonna have to like listen to it a lot because mm, it's hard. It's hard to know with just one listen. Um, I'm excited to get the vinyl. And I'm so excited to see her in concert. Titanic Rising is like one of my all time faves. And I'm excited for And in the Darkness Hearts of Glow to grow on me and to keep listening to it. Um, but thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in <clears throat> to my channel. Um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, watch some of my shitty covers, listen to my shitty music. Um, yeah, check out my paintings. I don't know. Like, this is just one teeny little part of me. There's so many other parts of me. Oh, have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Americans. Oh. And let's embody this energy this week, all right? That was for us. That was for us. <clears throat>